What we're talking about today is how to make your shitty. What we're talking about today is how to make your screenshots look less pixelated in just two to three minutes of using Photoshop. Hey, what's up, everyone? Heather here, Black Desert Online fan girl. I like to take screenshots. I like to snap them, work them, click them, erase them, write them, cut them, paste them, save them. We'll need Adobe Photoshop for this tutorial. I am going to leave a link in the description below in case you want to sign up for this free trial. No pressure. No pressure. Do it. So I'm going to make a duplicate layer. Just go ahead and right click the layer and go to duplicate. If you don't see the layers tab, you can always hit F7, which is the default hotkey to bring up the layers window. A duplicate layer just allows you to have a backup copy in the software itself in case you mess up or in case you want to do any masking. Masking allows you to fuse multiple layers together so that you can take bits and pieces of different effects that you like and, and smash them. So next you want to go to filter up top and then go to camera raw filter. Once you have that open, you're going to click this third tab, the details tab. So I'm going to set my luminance as 25 and my luminance detail as 75. I probably should have done this first, but I'm going to go back to that first tab and I'm going to raise my clarity to about 25. Don't forget to hit OK. So here's what we're working with so far. So make sure the top layer is still selected under your layers tab and then go ahead and go back to filter and then click on noise and go to despeckle. Next, we're going to make a mask layer. So go ahead and click here. Go ahead and right click on your screenshot. We're going to reduce the brush size to about 11. So before we get started on masking, you want to make sure that you have the brush tool selected and you want to make sure that these two colors are black and white because you're going to be using them for your masking. So using the black color, I'm going to be erasing this first top layer in certain areas that I want to bring back some detail in. For example, the eyebrows, the eyes, a little bit of the nose and the lips. And if you mess up, you can hit X to switch colors back and forth and white will bring back the original top layer or you can hit control Z. I'm going to turn the opacity down by selecting that first layer and bringing the opacity down to about 66%. Then I'm going to right click the layer and I'm going to hit merge down because I want to actually fuse these two images together at this point. So go ahead and make another duplicate layer because we're going to fix her jaw a little bit. Go back to filter up top and go to blur gallery and click on Gaussian blur. You could leave it at 1.2. Go ahead and drag the bottom layer to the top and go ahead and make another layer mask. So we're just going to paint over the jaw area just to get rid of those really harsh pixels. After that, go ahead and merge again. So now that you merge the layers, go back to filter and go to liquify. You want to make sure you have the first warp tool selected on the top left and make sure your size and your pressure settings are similar to mine because you don't want to have that pressure too high. And as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to um, smooth out the pixels in the sense that there's no indentations and gaps in her jaw. Ta-da! Here's the before and after. What do you think? Do me a favor. If this video was helpful to you, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And if it wasn't, leave me a comment and let me know what I can do to improve because I'm trying to get good. Thanks for watching.